Welcome to Conversations with Eugene Ebner, powerful talk that will change your life. Hi there, I am at the Majestic Theater in New York City where Phantom of the Opera on Broadway has been playing for 30 years and this gorgeous one next to me is in the show. This is Elizabeth Welsh. Hello. Hi Elizabeth. Hi, nice to see you all. Nice to see you, thanks for letting us be in your dressing room. <laughs> it's my pleasure. It's my Broadway, my Manhattan office. Your second home? <laughs> it's a pied terre Now you've been with the show how long? Almost nine years or over nine um, years? Over nine years. October, Halloween will be 10 years. Wow. Yeah. So your 10 year anniversary is coming up. On Halloween. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, I'd love to just hear a little bit about a condensed story of how you got into the show. A condensed story. Um, I was in the Taftas at the Denver Center. I got my equity card there, and a um, an audition showed up. And I guess it was just a six month call, EPA. I didn't know um, for Phantom, and I said, "That's my dream show. I want to audition for that show." And I flew out, took vacation time from Taftas, flew to New York. <laughs> And did 16 bars uh, for a casting person, cause, and I just, I guess, got in file. Mm -hmm. And then a month later, they called me back, and so I flew back to New York, and it was almost me. And then over the course of the year, I flew back a few more times, but it took about a year. And then I got the call at the end of, I think it was around the beginning of October, that I got the call to join the tour. And we had just um, got a place in Denver. We were moving in October 1st, and I was leaving October 30th <laughs> on tour. I was like, enjoy this place, Tim and Vivian. It was the strangest. You're kind of like, have fun, but I'm going to New fun. York, and I'm then I'm going on tour, and then I'm going to New York, because you went on the tour. For two years, for two and years. then I came here, and um, kind of directly went into the Broadway company. With, I had like five weeks off or something went into the Broadway company, and then I was here uh, until uh, they wanted me to go to Germany, to be Christine in Germany, and I was there for a year, and I have been back for two years. Two, I've been back here for two years, two years. yeah. I find it interesting, that's why I asked you, because I think there's some individuals that might be watching this, think, well, how does that work? And even it, it can take different, obviously, amounts of time for everybody. But just the fact that it took you a year even to get to the place where they said go on tour, then you did the tour, then you were asked to Broadway, then you had mm -hmm. an opportunity to be Christine in Germany. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, a process. Yeah. And it's not something that I'm learning even with my own endeavors. Things do take time. Of course, things can happen like that too, but you have to be prepared yeah. and show up, audition. Mm -hmm. Now you go on as Christine quite a bit throughout the year, but it's more like you find out it's Whenever yeah. they tell you, I think, right? Yeah, whenever they tell me, or when emergencies happen, I'll go on. Mm -hmm. But um, most of the time, um, what do they call it? Vacations are set, and they have personal days or something, so we kind of get notice, mm -hmm. which is nice, because then I can let my friends know, June, you can come and see me, or yeah. whatever. So, yeah. I know. I still have to see you as Christine. I've seen you in the show. It's one of my favorite shows, as you know. Mm -hmm. And... Anyone that doesn't know this, I got to sing with Elizabeth in February for a benefit that we put on for Broadway Cares, and that was a turning point for me and a dream come true because not only are you so beautiful inside, but your voice is so magical, and to be able to sing with you That's very kind. is like a dream. That's very kind. I loved it. Thank you. With that said, we're really excited to announce the fact that we will be doing a show again together at the Triad Theater on mm -hmm. September 30th here in New York City. And it's an honor to co-create with you and work with you. And we also have our music director is one of the, I guess, swing conductors for Phantom and also Carousel on Broadway. Mm -hmm. It's Richard Carsey. Richard Carsey, who is a dream. and we and everybody who knows him loves he's a dream shout out to richard richard <laughs> <laughs> dun 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 dun, dun, dun. <laughs>
<laughs> Everybody loves Richard. He's he's a gem, an absolute gem. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. I'm excited to see what we come up with together and Me too. meeting with him, how things morph and grow. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an evening of song celebration. Personally, for me, this is one of the first times I've done an entire show featuring myself, especially in New York City, and then to have, like I said, Elizabeth, to be able to sing portions of Phantom with her and some other classics. It's really going to be um, a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. I have another question for you. If someone came to you and they wanted a life on the stage in New York City on Broadway, and they said, what's the one, the biggest piece of advice that would help them from your point of view, what would you say to them? Let's say they were just entering college, getting out of college, or whatever, I guess, stage of their life. What would you say to them is one of the most important things to do? Well, I would say to enjoy what you do and just keep doing it. Mm -hmm audition don't be afraid well actually no here's what I would say um, you have no idea what's gonna happen what's going on behind the table what they have in mind who they've seen before what look they're looking for you have no idea so I have always in my auditions except for the ones that have gone badly I have always seen that audition as the performance this is the one chance I am gonna have to sing in this moment. This is my performance, that's my audience. I may never sing this stuff again, especially if I'm singing sides, you know? Like, um, I come in and they've given me Think of Me to sing and I think I'm gonna stand here in New York City and sing Think of Me and this is the performance of my life and it doesn't matter if I get it or not because this is it. Right. Um, so I don't go in with the oh, I really want to have this job, or I whatever, it just, it's that performance and enjoying that. And I've had some not so great auditions, and it's when I did not just allow myself mm -hmm. to be in that moment, in that audition, singing, because that's what I love to do, so. All right, so that's my what I'm hearing is stay in the moment, mm -hmm. release major expectation, mm -hmm. stay in the joy of it, the passion of it. Mm -hmm. It's very good advice. Because there's ups and downs in life with whatever profession you go into, especially in entertainment. And you have no idea what the outcome will be. Mm -hmm. You have no idea what it could be. You have no idea. You have no control. So if you're in the audition room trying to figure out what they want, what should, it, what is the best advice, what should it, you know, just don't. Mm -hmm. Do Makes... what you do best, which is perform. That that's what we do. We go in. We show people what we do mm -hmm. which is perform and tell a story and sing and you know and they don't want to see anything else I don't think I wouldn't want to see anything else why would you want to hire someone that doesn't enjoy what they do right that's excellent advice Speak. No, but it is. No, I think so <laughs> I know because I've done for it on me, the other side for me too yeah speaking of joy what's one of your greatest joys in life giving much I kind of thought you were going to say that, and I love Vivian, too. Vivian August Welch is the greatest joy of my life. Hi, Vivian. Yeah. Hi, baby. You rock. Yes. Yes, she does. She's well, a star. she really is, and you're a very supportive mom, so that's amazing, because support any parents that are watching out there. Yes. If your kids are passionate about something, support it. Mm -hmm. Allow it. Embrace it. Whatever it is. I agree. It doesn't Whatever even it have to be, obviously, um, in show business. Singing and dancing. Yeah. No, it's 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 easy to support someone when it's clear that it's what they're going to... I don't know. Vivian plays trumpet. She sings. She's incredible. I, I, I don't really even do anything more than just pay for the lessons and get mm -hmm. her to the places, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, she has the freedom to explore it, to succeed, to it to fail to whatever you know it's her passion and her journey and uh, it's so cool she has musician parents so she can do whatever she wants to do that's true <laughs> you know it's not like we're forcing her to be a doctor or anything right obviously. she has not only incredible examples i mean especially in you because i personally know you that 
not only very loving and caring and nurturing, but you're on Broadway and she gets to see that. You're living your dream and she gets to experience that through you. So I think that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm really grateful for you. I'm grateful that I get to perform with you. I'm grateful yes. that I'm in your dressing room in the Majestic Theater. It's you so... Get a, a view of more than... <laughs> Yeah, the back. <laughs> Folks, this is eyes. what a yeah, this is what a uh, dressing room on Broadway looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glory. We can't wait to see you on September thirtieth. Yes. At the Triad Theater. Please come. It's going to be great. There'll be more information posted here. Can't wait to see you. Thank you. Bye.